My name's Anita Linas. I first became interested in pottery when I was going to college and um, I really found clay fascinating for a lot of reasons. It just the plasticity of it um, allowed me to make it into so many things. I took three semesters of ceramics in college um, when I was going to nursing school and continued to be a maker of pots throughout my life. Um, but it really started when I was probably 18, was that when I threw my first pot and I just fell in love with clay. I got my inspiration for a lot of the work that I've done over the last few years um, through my work of midwifery. I deal with a lot of um, underserved and a poor population doing pregnancy care and I found that the, the heartache and the burden of some things that women go through as I take care of them and um, assist them when they deliver their babies I carry that burden with me a lot and I pray for my patients a lot. So when I can come out to my barn and throw open the doors and just see the beautiful sky and this beautiful place that I live, um, a lot of things come to mind and I work in my clay while I pray and sing and just have um, quiet time. The pieces that I choose to make a lot of times have a, a very distinct family theme. Um, pottery is can maybe one of the lowliest sort of art forms. We're working with clay, with, with dirt. Um, it's very muddy and, and dirty. But I find that these pieces, when they come out of the kiln and they're plates or bowls or um, things that we can use in the home, they my family gathers around these things and often we use them for many many years um, pulling them out at birthdays and Christmas and continuing to become heirlooms in our family. I think that that pottery holds that same place for a lot of people because it's made with someone's hand from a lump of clay and then it becomes something beautiful, something that has meaning and is brought out for those occasions when you want a special um, plate to put something on. Um, so family is a huge inspiration for me. Um, I don't put a lot of markings, I don't put a lot of sayings on my, on my pots. I usually will um, let my hands sort of make them into what they're meant to be. And then the glazes I choose often are colorful because I love color. Um, I love browns as well, but I tend to be a lot lighter in my coloration of the things that I make. One of the most memorable um, memories that I have of making pottery was after um, a women's conference that I did, um, the women were very excited to come out to the studio and, and just get into my clay and I was kind of showing them how to make things and um, some of the excitement as they, you know, rolled out clay and began to make something with their hands and just watching their excitement and the creative process which many many people do not engage in in any form um, is an amazing transformer in our life to watch them giggle and talk and the pieces that they made they were so proud of um, I think that was probably a really great memory and a really great day so teaching pottery is an interesting process because learning to throw on the wheel takes a long time, it's about six months of doing it pretty much every day. Um, so I find that what I start with when I teach classes is I usually start with hand building so that people can build something slowly over a few days or a week or so so that they can get something out of it that they enjoy. Um, and then if somebody's really interested, um, they have to give at least six months to a year toward the process if they're gonna do wheel throwing and, and learn the process. But the reason that I teach is because I think it's just such a, a wonderful, tactile way to 
make something with your hands, to be a maker. You don't even have to, it doesn't have to be something you could sell. Um, it could be something you want to use. It could be a pot for a plant. But every time you see it, it's something you made, something that was just a lump of clay and you made that and somebody's going to come in and you're going to feel proud of the thing that you were able to make and then use. It's useful, so that's why. The concepts for the work that I do often flow from um, some kind of activity or ritual that we do. Um, I'll make a, a cake stand because someone's birthday is coming up or I will work on a series of bowls that we'll use at Christmas this year. Um, I will make a series of cups or a tea set. Um, so they're usually around some kind of a activity that a family does. Sometimes it will be springtime and I'll throw a whole lot of garden pots. And so it it's usually flows out of um, activity or some kind of a ritual that we do. So on Friday, April 5th, 2019, I'm having um, an art show at the Mossman Center in Melrose, Florida. Um, to show off some of my art and some of my pottery and we'd really like you to come.